I'm sick of it. It feels like every drive, there's so many third down. Everything is such a slog. The first half was abysmal. It felt like they couldn't do any, they couldn't do anything. All right, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Mike Catalana, I am Jenna Cottrell. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. Yeah, I don't think Maybe. people are going to like what Ma we're going to say. Well, I think people are going to like what we have to say because I think a lot of people are very frustrated. The yes. Bills with a 29-25 loss to the Patriots on the road, their second divisional loss of the season. Buffalo now 4-3 and three on the year. Mike, yeah. there's a lot to digest with this game. My concern is that this is who the Bills are. They're I four and that. three. I hate that. They are not special at all on offense. In fact, they've been poor. Yeah. Uh, defensively, they are banged up. But even with that, it's Mac Jones. It's Mac Jones. Yeah. And Sean used the word afterwards, Sean McDermott. They controlled the game. Yeah. I New England did. They did exactly what they wanted to do and controlled the game. Until, the, you know, they had a couple of hiccups when yeah. the Bills got the turnover and got the ball back. But you let Mac Jones control the game. You've let Zach Wilson beat you. Tyrod almost beat you. I mean, come on, fellas. I know you're banged up, but there's still starters out there, and they got to be better than this. Mac Jones, at the end of that game, I was like, all right, look, they, the Bills' defense will do a good job. They'll have to kick the field goal. Maybe we'll go to overtime. And then with how Mac Jones drove the Patriots down the field, that screen play, that huge chunk play, seeing stuff like that, it was just jarring. And I will say, during the sidelines, before half, I kind of was looking around just because the Bills obviously were struggling earlier on. Patriots kind of walked down the field to start. Offense couldn't get going. There was no juice on the sidelines. There was just no energy I think it obviously the break they made some second half adjustments things came together but this team has so much talent but it's upsetting because well we say when I, I you have Josh Allen you have you do you, yeah yes Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs there's a few players that yeah. are elite talents yeah I start to question everything when I see games like this because Jacksonville, oh, you know, it's traveling. And then you come back and the Giants, well, Dable knows you well. Yeah, Belichick knows you too. And they yeah. blitzed him at times. Yeah. They destroyed the Patriots defense. And they didn't do that today. So, and then again, defensively, I'm sorry, you still have Hyde and Poyer. Yeah. And you got Bernard, who's your starter. And Von Miller, who's been invisible. Yeah. And, and I'm, I, okay, he's the guy at least has something. He's yeah. coming back to the knee, yeah. but he's been invisible. I didn't see anybody make a play on the defensive line today. Not, yeah. not a single one. I didn't see a single impactful play. Am I missing something? Am I missing a play? I'm trying to think. Uh, nothing out of Rousseau, nothing not out really. of. It was a very quiet day for them. AJ and Oliver Vanessa. did not play, but still. Oh, no, they, still. they miss him, but come yeah. on. Somebody yeah. step up. And then. I'm not saying Mac Jones is Tom Brady, but he went down the field like it was Tom Brady against the Bills in total control, moving the ball around, yeah. and then getting the touchdown at the end. My like, God, at least keep him out of the end zone and you still have a chance. It was wild because at one point I was like, wait, which team is one and five? Like, it was, it was unbelievable. And a bad one and five. Yeah. We're not talking about a team that was, you know, they had lost some ones early that way, but they've been brutal as of late. They got blown out by yeah. like the Cowboys and the Saints. And here are the Bills. Honestly, if you just walked in and you hadn't seen these two teams play, would you think the Bills were the better team? No way. No. Not in this way. And they no. are, but they weren't. Yeah, they were not out here today. And I, I don't know what is going on. I think that for this, we, we can talk about the offense as well. Like, Everything oh. seems like a struggle, and if I have to hear the one more fucking time, the boat horn on third down, <laughs> I'm sick of it. It feels like every drive, there's so many third down. Everything is such a slog. The first half was abysmal. It felt like they couldn't do any, they couldn't do anything. Right. So I'm gonna go Dan Fates here, and I'm gonna have the hot take. Okay. I'm gonna say if it not if it's not better on Thursday night, which you play Thursday night, and it's mm -hmm. a quick turnaround. Yeah. But then they have, it's basically, they'll be almost like a mini buy, right? Because yeah. you play Thursday and then you turn around. If it's not better, I think Ken Dorsey could get fired. 
that soon. I yeah. only say that because I think this organization has been very loyal. I think yep. Sean McDermott inherently is a very loyal person. And I, 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 I mean. I don't even think it's all his fault. No, I The don't. offensive line stunk today. Josh was running for his life, it felt like. They stunk. But I don't think the quarterback, I, he said, I asked him point blank, do you have confidence in the game plan? One word, yes. Well, of course he's going to say that publicly. You give him the opportunity yeah. if he's like, I, you know, he didn't say any of that. It was one word answers. His entire uh, news conference was one minute and 25 seconds. Four questions? Yeah. Adam Benini asked two and I asked two. And you were working because you were on the camera. Yeah. And nobody else said anything. Half the writers weren't even there yet. Yeah. They're all cranky about it anyhow. All but Josh there, was not yeah. in a talkative mood. The reason I say this is like, look, it's not all his fault, but something's got to change. Something has to change. I don't think you can play this way when you have Josh Allen as your quarterback. It's just a weird vibe. It's a very weird vibe around the team. Yeah. And so many times it'd be like, all right, you got Josh Allen. You're going to get it back into this game. And they did. They got yeah. back into the game. But it just felt like things were so much harder than they needed to be. Josh was running for his life. And, and then, I mean, like Dalton Kincaid, I thought having a nice game, yeah. but it just like those plays that you knew you could count on found they, they weren't there. I'm looking. Do you, do you see Gabe Davis? He played in the game, didn't he? I mean, like I stick up for Gabe. Yeah. I said to you, I think he was going to end up having a big year and maybe yeah, get a contract same. extension. <laughs> no, yeah. you, you're not impactful in the game. Yeah. He's not impactful at all. And then you look at Diggs. And you're like, I saw people saying, oh, the Patriots do what they do when they take out your best player. I'm sorry. Josh says he's healthy. We'll see. Yeah. But he had Davis, or excuse me, he had Diggs running open again deep, mm -hmm. and he missed him, and it really wasn't close. Yeah. He had him in the middle of the field a couple times and missed him. Yeah. I don't think Josh is 100%. Plus, he took some shots in I this game. About to say. They beat him up in this game. You got to make sure 17 is upright and confident. And the reason I say this would it be totally unfair? Would it be fair to Ken Dorsey? No, probably not. But this is big boy football, yeah. and you have your $250 million quarterback, and he doesn't look like that guy right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to say what Dan would say, and he's back home. You're coaching for your job, and yeah. I think he kind of should be. And I don't know. I don't know what they would do. I don't know if Sean McDermott would actually pull the trigger. If it was on defense, he'd do what he'd done before, take over the play calling. Yeah, yeah. He's not calling plays on offense, but he's got enough to worry about the defense being beaten up. So, I definitely think Josh is <clears> – <throat> he did take some huge hits, and I think he has been affected by that. Whether it's short-term, long-term, when we talked to him entering this week, he said it was pain management, but he's going to be in even more pain after today because yeah. of some of those hits he took and just the physicality in which he played with because they needed him to be that guy time in and time out to keep the chains moving. And, look, 17, he's huge. That, that's yeah. a part of it. It's an asset for him. But at the same point, we talk so much about, you know, Josh making these smart decisions and all this stuff. McDermott talked about it, being on schedule, yeah. ahead of the chains, and it felt like constantly you had to rely on Josh doing something because the offense just runs on first down. They pick up a yard, maybe two, maybe they lose a couple. It just felt like everything was just – so unimaginative, so stagnant, just such a grind. When they pressured Josh Allen, he struggled today. He did, And yeah. it was on him in a hurry. He's constantly had to bail and get out. He bailed so much. Yeah. So much. It felt like one, two, there goes Josh yeah. running out. Because there was a guy in his face. Now, I made this observation during the game. They played against Brian Dayball last week. Yeah. They played against Bill Belichick this week. And they both coached. I thought a little bit, in the past, I would say you're coaching scared. Yeah. Kicking field goals, not going for it on fourth and short, not throwing the ball. It's kind of like, are you coaching to stay close? Yeah. Honestly, I think they've coached that way the last two weeks because they're not afraid of the Bills offense. You would not coach that way against an elite offense. Fair. They're coaching like, we can hold this team down. And then that's what and happens. That's, they have yeah. no reason to be afraid of this offense. And so they're, they're saying, let's take the field goal. Let's play field position. Let's make them drive down the field. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did to them. And it was, it was, um, it's going to continue too. Because 
We haven't even gotten to the tough part of the I, schedule. This was supposed to be the easy stretch. This was supposed to be where the Bills could build up their confidence, you know, see some creativity out of the offense, score points, feel good, and then have all that rolling into a tough stretch of their schedule. This is this is bad. Yeah. I will say too, you bring up field goals. Tyler Bass today missed another. Yeah. And okay, so you're how was the wind? Um, I will say it did pick up. Uh, like, I, it was actually funny. It was like right before he he got out there. I was like, ooh, the wind started picking up a little bit. And I just right after the snap, you know, the kick, you could tell it wasn't good immediately. He's like, I don't know if he was having a conversation with Sam Martin or who, but he was like, he was very visibly pissed off at something. Yeah. Um, Something's been different the last couple of weeks. McDermott has been almost reluctant. Where Bass has been a weapon. Yeah. He's been a reluctant to put him in there on the longer kicks. I mean, last week he he kept him from one longer one, said it was about the wind. There really wasn't a lot of wind. Yeah. And then he missed a big one late. Yeah. And then this time he misses. Mm -hmm. And that was obviously a huge yeah. play. It get, you know, yeah. it was one of the decent drives and he doesn't get him any points. So, yeah. yeah. And then they gave up a long punt return too. Yeah. So hey, special teams needed to chip in and they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. They were lousy too. Yeah. Sean talks so much about complimentary football, and I he said today none of it was complimentary. No, no all three phases. They do not deserve any compliments they for the way they play. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Yeah, we might we steal that. that. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, James Cook. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. I like Cook. I like that he made little plays. Yeah, like got outside sometimes when there was no room to run. I Ran agree. tough. Yeah. Made a really nice play. Josh made the adjustment when he threw down the field to him. Mm -hmm. Caught the ball down the field. He and Kincaid were two big pluses today. Yes. Because Kincaid, eight targets, eight catches, yeah. 75 yards is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. But in the funny thing was he wasn't really the second guy because Diggs only had six and in the 50s. Yeah. So they didn't get the normal the, big game out of Diggs. Yeah. Dawson Knox. Look, that was not an easy catch, and yeah. it was a good hit. The ball was slightly behind him. Okay, so I'll get that all out of the way. Yeah. You got to catch the ball, Dawson. Is your buddy. They're tight. He and yeah. Josh together all the time. Your quarterback needed you on third down. You didn't come up with that. You now, you got to protect the ball. You know somebody's coming up behind yeah. you. He's got to make that catch. And I think about even last week when the Bills had the opportunity to put the ball over or put, put the, the game, game away, away, and it wasn't the best throw by Josh Allen, but it it slides through Dawson Knox's fingertips. I don't know how much that wrist injury is impacting him, but when you have a guy that's the seasoned veteran supposed to be in that position, you need him to show up in those big moments. We've talked about it. That's what big time players do. And you have not seen enough production out of Dawson Knox. And it's frustrating. Dalton Kincaid, nice bright spot, but there are players on this offense that are, they feel like they're the bonafide starter. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're, they're the guys and you have Diggs, who's earned that. And then guys like Dalton, and, and as well as Gabe Davis. It's just. They're passengers right now. They're passengers. We talk so much about A and B players. Yeah. And I think so those guys look at themselves as A players. But I think the statistics would show a different story. Yeah, and there are times. And I hate being this, like. Honest? Yeah. yeah. Look. Yeah. Look, this is big boy football. These yeah. guys are NFL players. Uh, Knox got a contract. Yeah. Like, do I think he's a good guy, good for the oh, team, all yeah. those kind of things. But sorry, you, you've got to make some plays for your quarterback. Josh makes so many plays yeah. to try to keep them alive mm -hmm. and to do things. Catch the ball. Look at Diggs. Look at the play he made. He was having not having a good day. Josh yeah. missed him on some. And then here he makes that play where he slides down and, and gets up effort, and gets to the end zone. The second effort from him. Great. Got him back in it. Yeah. And then Poyer makes the play. You get the yeah. ball back. Terrell Bernard jumping on that. Yeah. Like, it It felt like, oh, my God, this is the swing that everyone was waiting it. for. Yep. And then, obviously, uh, the game did not end like that. But, honestly, if we take a look at where this team is at, they squeaked out the win against the Giants. But, realistically, we knew there were these flaws in this team. And when you play games the way you play and you, it doesn't seem like you address what's wrong, you're going to lose football games. What, it just sucks, though, that it's another divisional loss. Oh, too. yeah. I mean, they've put themselves in a spot. The yeah. only plus, the only plus with the division is you beat Miami. So Correct. you have the opportunity to beat them twice. Yes. So, but you got your own mess to work in. Seven games in, you're four and three, and you just, by the way, look, 
pretty soon you're going to have Cincinnati and Kansas City and, and at Philly and you've yeah. got Dallas like you got a lot of big time teams that you're playing yeah. and they've lost to the Jets they lost to the Jags who are okay yeah. and they lost to this team and they've they lost were good to today New England was good Zach Wilson Mac Jones almost lost to Terod Taylor and they lost to Trevor Lawrence Trevor Lawrence I'll give you that but yeah. those other guys and those teams had struggled mightily in other games, too. So, look, this is a failure. It starts with Sean McDermott. Whatever he's doing as a team, I don't get the, the – you know, I, I was standing in the tunnel when they went out. Hey, they were look fired up, like whatever it is. They go out, and right away Josh throws an atrocious oh, pass. Did that look as bad as it, it seemed from my view? Well, your view is – on the field so you're seeing more of maybe realistically maybe what the quarterback sees we're sitting up here in the press box i am looking directly down that line and he starts to throw it and i'm like huh and it's picked yeah it, it looked like an easy like he misread the the guy being in zone coverage and uh, peppers and he picks yeah. it off and it's just a little deflating by the way i said to you yesterday i want him to win the toss Win the toss and take the ball. Yeah. Now nope, they defer because that's what the Bills do. Now, yeah. They did score to start the second half, but before you know it, they start they start the game down. Yeah. And it was only three. Yeah. It could have been worse because yeah. they were driving. They let Mac Jones drive down the field to begin and end the game. Well, so. I literally was like, oh, it's going to be like that today. Like like I had people texting me being like, oh, you know, and I'm like, all right, you know. Let's let's settle in. It's a long game, yeah. and then when it continued, I was like, "Oh shit!" Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the Dorsey thing. Oh, okay. Go, okay. No, no, no. no. I, I have something after that. I'm gonna go back to the Dorsey thing. Um, Sean McDermott replaced Leslie Frazier. I still think it's a better defense. Yeah. It's tough I, to play without these guys. That being said, you gotta cr cross it out today. You gotta finish the game today. They didn't do that. Failure was the word Micah Hyde used, and yeah. it was a failure. Yeah. But he's got one play to make at some point and it's with his offensive coordinator mm -hmm. and I don't know Josh picked the guy right Josh wanted yeah. the guy yeah but it's not working it's and not. it is not and I again I don't know what they would do I really don't but see that's where do you go where because if you're going to do if you're going to choose Joe Brady obviously he doesn't have experience in that role well, in he, terms he does he, he for a little bit but, he, he did, he but did in, with Joe Burrow, I was and then he say, did a little bit in Carolina. But I'm talking about, for him, like, with this offense taking over, like, I, I just, it's very limited experience. It is, but I guess I start to look at it and say, it's not working. Like, yeah. definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and yeah. expecting a different result. Yeah. You watch him, it's a slog. And again, the offense is healthy. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Josh would be banged up, and I do think it's impacted. Well, I'm sorry, I interrupted you to fire Dorsey again. So. Um, going into this season, there was some talk about Sean McDermott being on the hot seat, mm -hmm. considering the team struggling to get over the hump. Where do you think the temperature of that is right now? Because this team is underperforming. I want to hear your take, but I have my own. Uh, I would say this. It's the NFL. Like you just lost to the Giant to the uh, Patriots, and you you've already lost, lost to the Giants. Lost to the Giants. Uh, things can go bad. Yeah. Like, you know, one of the things Dawson Knox said about like we're not worried about playoff positioning and all that. He was basically saying we ain't worried about any of that stuff. <laughs> you got to make the playoffs. Yeah. Like you got to be in there. And if it were to go really south, look, he's. He's earned a long leash as yeah. the head coach because yeah. this team's won a ton of games and they are been that team. But you got to fix things and you got to look like you got to fix things. And what the reason they would do it would be to bring in an offensive guy. That's the reason they would do it. I don't think we're there. But you talk to me when they're seven and ten this year. It, it feels like this team is just resting on their laurels. That's my yeah. opinion. I feel like this team thinks like, well, we're we're better. Like we have all these players. We just need to play our brand of football. And it's like, I you go to maybe they are playing their brand of football. But here's the thing. No, well, they think they can just switch into yeah, gear. I'm and it's is, like that gear doesn't exist. It really doesn't. And which it is frustrating that they had those three great games with the offense, or yeah. at least two of them were great, and the other one, Washington, Ended was up, so yeah, bad. Yeah. But 
I don't see that. I watch them and it just looks, they look lost is all I would say. They look lost. And if, if you lose Josh Allen that way, in terms of his confidence in the coaching staff oh, in total, yeah. then you, then that's where you would get to that point, right? Because yeah. 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 <laughs> I said to you guys before, Josh Allen is ahead of Bean and he's ahead of McDermott, McDermott. in yeah. terms of like, it's so hard to find these guys. Yeah. And he's still Josh Allen. He just doesn't look like Josh Allen the last three weeks. I think the hot seat on Sean is premature, but I think the NFL is very reactionary. And if games continue to go the way that they have, I can see where fans would start clamoring for some changes. But I think first and foremost, it starts with offensive coordinator. That yeah. is that is really the thing that you can circle. Josh, yes, he has some injuries, but you look at the health of the offense overall, there's not a long line of excuses there. I, hey, Trent Sherfield had a catch. <laughs> there we go. He had as many as Gabe Davis did today. And now I'm ripping on Gabe, yeah. but I'm frustrated because he's not doing anything. No, I, I feel like, well, fans are frustrated. I mean, I think. Offensive line stunk today. Wide receivers outside of, I mean, I still think Diggs was doing his job. Everybody's talking about blanketing. He was open a lot. Josh missed him. Yeah. Or he was getting chased and he couldn't get yeah. there. Kincaid did his job. Knox did not do the, his job. Um, defensively, no impactful plays on the D-line. I thought Bernard was pretty good. He got yeah. caught for that one penalty. Uh, Dorian Williams was flying around a little bit, but he missed on some stuff, so they got him out of there. Yeah. So Dodson ended up playing. Yeah. I didn't think the corners were terrible. No. Because there wasn't – they just were so take the short, take the short. Yeah. You know, they yeah, really beat them well. with some other stuff. Um, and the special team stunk. Other yeah. than that, it was a great day. How was the play, Mrs. Lincoln? <laughs> The same one over and over again. Oh, yeah. All it right. really has been three awful weeks yeah, of football. It's not great. You know? And, and there was Thursday. All, and, we're, and Thursday. Well, I'm glad it's Thursday. I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's Thursday. Let's get a game going. Yeah. Let's hopefully Ooh, turn the page. Mm. Okay. All right. For Mike, I'm Jenna. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Share with friends. This will be a, uh, what's that called? Cathartic? Yes. No. Get, get angry. I want to hear your angry comments. That's what I want to say. Your reaction to the game and your yeah. outlook on what Be the angry. Bills season is right now. That's what I want to see in the comments. Yeah. I'm I'm expecting scathing at some moments. All right, whatever. Have at it. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, for Mike, I'm Jenna. We'll catch you next time here on Buffalo Plus presented by Connors and Ferris.